Yeah, that's really good. That felt really good. better. Yeah. yeah. Now, what we've been looking at here, if you make the first move away, what we've kind of picked up on is when you've been going into the second half of the backswing, yeah. as the club's been going up, effectively your spine has been leaning itself. So almost the back of your, here, the back is staring down at the stone, which is making your sternum look towards the sky. Okay. Now, because of that trap feeling, the only sensation from there to feel like you create space is for your arms to come out. Yeah. So although your mindset wants to drop, yeah, it's the not. physicality can't allow you okay. that. So what we've been, you know, how we've been trying to just perceive it is the first move back to nine o'clock shafts parallel to the target. But now that as a feeling against reality, when you turn your spine angle, it feels more like there yeah. that your sternum is almost staring down at a golf ball okay. in line with your right foot. And it's more like my back is flat. So then your the back is a lot flatter to the target. Okay. Now that, that feeling of the looking down, it's a strange feeling, but obviously it's not the reality, but it helps you then, as you quite rightly said, it helps you get your back yep. a lot squarer to the target instead of that reverse pivot over here okay. like this. And then when I am there, so when I feel like I've gone like, you know, sort of using big muscles for the takeaway. Yes, yep. Driving that to here, and then the turn Yeah, to brilliant. Here. So from there, from here, yeah, that where feels I... almost naturally now, because your back is square to the target more neutral, yep. it, as much as your mindset, the physicality feels natural for the, for the arms just to fall. Okay. Like so. So now the golf club at this point is staying a little more behind you. Yeah. And as and it comes shift. to this point, obviously when you, when you throw your arms out, the shaft gets in line with your left arm there. Okay. So of course the next move is over. But now, with Drop. there, the club sits just above the inside of your right forearm. And as it continues now, see the club path is a lot more yes. neutral into impact. Okay. So I guess as a feeling from that position of getting the turn, so here, turn. That's is it, it a case of like keeping the banking obviously, but also shifting to the target correct keeping my back to the target letting the club drop that's it and then i'm going to guess that maybe just like the motion as you're doing that would move you naturally to the ball but yeah. is it a case is there any sort of feeling to keep this so like in, more of a tighter impact than i know i can get a little bit yeah early so relief. if you could take that club back up to the top again there just just as we said making sure that spine angle and your back position is more neutral so the idea there that as, as those now, because of your spine angle being more neutral and not in the reverse pivot, physically it feels more natural to drop. So as they drop behind, the left shoulder moves towards the target and stays low okay. here. So now as you've shifted forward here, see now at this point, the club is lagging behind you more. Yeah. So now basically the momentum now at the last bit, your chest can come round and down that way. Okay. And the, the, the big muscles are then Drive what's leveraging through. the club through impact. Okay, so should I think of it as getting the turn and then for now, the downswing feel being keeping the left shoulder low? That's it, a little okay. bump towards your target, yes. And this is, very, this is really key with your iron play because ultimately we're trying to get a, more of a, a downward, downward attack angle on the ball. And then like drive with the chest. Yes, that's it. Through, okay. Hold that there. See, that's really good. So now look at the finish here, Jess. You see your chest has come round. Yeah, but and it's I'm not. Yeah, it's come round over your front leg. So when, when the club has recoiled back, your upper body's finished very upright. Yeah, and, okay. but, and you see, so your body's fully unwound, but it's released in a forward position. Right. To so allow the, I to guess the, in a way a signal then or something to look for as to if I've not done the left shoulder down is that actually if I've gone high yes. in my finish, I'd almost have a bit of that tilt again. Absolutely. Okay. So if we just, we'll just go through that. So if you make a, a really good turn, get your spine angle back neutral, you make the drop of the club, but in this next phase, if you're moved now, which can be quite commonly seen, is the left shoulder starts to go up. Yeah. That as you reach the ball now, you throw the club your, down. Your spine angle here is turning, but it's behind the golf ball. Yes. Okay. So of course that affects the quality of strike. And I guess that's why you can then obviously catch the ground before the ball, but also yeah. feel you finish like a bit more back. Yeah. That it, way. So if you if you go back again, you can see that you get into a great position at the top. 
if this club drops, now you go up for your iron play. Now, that yeah. also takes the club head down to ground level quicker. So as you quite rightly said, it could affect you catching the ground slightly. And then feeling or, like I lose my balance this or way. Or you're probably going to get a little bit more of a, a clean, thin okay. contact of the yeah, strike. So you would be hitting by going back. That's bringing the club down to ground level, but in a shallow way. Okay. So if that's what we don't want to be doing, we don't want to be doing We don't want that up, ideally we... for our iron play because we need a little bit more pressure on the golf ball, yeah. the downward strike. So what we do want is take away, turn. That's it. So remember the back, and that's then it. The shot, little like drop, the shift it, that's it. Move low Shoulder and across. low. Low and keep going across. And then, and then round with the chest through the strike. Round with the chest. And then you finish, if you've done it well, you'll kind of feel over this. Yes, yeah. you'll feel like you've released the chest. And that obviously you said there is things like when we get the position of the left shoulder moving across and the chest coming round effectively in a more forward position is the club lags behind so the release of the torso in the correct position is what unwinds the club head okay but it but it will give the feeling that the hands are a lot quieter right yeah if we drop down and we go up now effectively as we're going up our turn is staying behind the ball which will want to potentially activate the hands too much okay. independently and then club face control is quite tricky trickier to, to, to okay. sort of guarantee what's going to happen Let's give that a go take away turn and then for now just like left shoulder low that's it to build on that correct yes a little bit thuddy There we go. That's yeah, much that, better. I feel a little tilty, maybe still. I think it could be more. I could do that better. Correct. Yeah. A lot, but the good thing was there a lot more of the golf ball that strike. Yeah. So a lot more. Yeah. You know, should we say as the terminology go, it's certainly the small ball before the big ball. There we go. There you go. Exaggerate the feels. So, chest looking down, okay. shift low and across. Down, shift low. Round and then into that tight finish. Okay. Hold it there, brilliant. So Hold look it. at this structure here. Yeah. This right side of your body is so far forward and round. Okay. And almost because your torso is forward and stronger, it really gives you that snap effect in the recoil yeah. of the club. You know, you can look at some good players, you know, Fleetwood comes into mind a lot when all, yeah. a lot of people's perception is that he looks like he's at a puncher all the time. Right. But because the body is so forward and round and down, yeah. he's so with the club that yeah. the club actually just snaps Recoils. back with a tight recoil. Plus, yeah. I guess by being over this way, I can feel like I could actually like stay in this, <laughs> this yeah. like, it feels structure like... for a while. Whereas I know yeah. if I've gone back, I almost come out of the shot, I guess, and lose my balance. Whereas yeah. there, like, we've been able to talk while I've been able to, like, stay well, on this. Like you quite really said, you could actually stand there and wait for f the photographer to yeah. do a photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas the other way, <laughs> he's saying, Jess, any chance you can stand still yeah, for a bit so longer? I'm, like, no, I'm out, of, out of my posture here. So that is my homework from Jason, to really groove that move of the turn, feeling like my sternum is facing the ground, rather than getting that little bit of a tilt that I had going on, that reverse pivot. And then from there, from that good turn, feeling like I drive the transition with my left shoulder staying low, going forward and round rather than getting a little bit high, which is what I had going on. So let me know what you're working on in your swing as well. I would love to hear in the comments and I'll see you there.